here's your forecast from the first alert weather team. 512 on this Friday morning. Gabe Ross in with you with a look at the drought monitor. And as expected, no good news with a lack of rain in the last week. We have officially expanded here in southeastern North Carolina to a D0 designation or an abnormally dry uh, stretch, if you will. And hopefully this weekend, a little bit of rain. It's not going to alleviate this because we're down pretty much about three inches of rain for the month. So anything we could get will help, but it's not going to disappear like that unless we get to get help from a major weather system. And the only thing we can really keep an eye on is this low pressure area off to the south where it's likely going to stay. You see it's got some pretty well defined circulation and it's got a chance of development, at least a medium chance here in the next little bit before it winds up uh, pushing to the west over land here along the Florida Georgia border there. Uh, note some of the outer bands though, producing a few showers. That would be our best chance of rain for the afternoon. And as we look forward with cloud future radar modeling, sort of picking up on a little bit of that, a combination of that. And of course the sea breeze boundary coming in, two air masses colliding, some pop-up showers and storms. It's what we would typically see during the summer, I think a slightly better chance as we get to tomorrow afternoon and even Sunday. So there's rain chances emerging a little bit. Some heavier clusters modeled out here first thing Sunday as well. Big question, will they hold together by the time they make their way on land? That's the big question. And at this point, we'll keep those rain chances around 30% to cover that. So not a slam dunk chance but at least an opportunity nonetheless. 80s today, another big factor in the forecast will be growing temps as we head toward early next week, especially low 70s tonight. We'll also point out the full strawberry moon hits its peak at 9.08. Viewing may not be the greatest, but boy, it'll be a nice bright moon, even a little bit after peak tonight, if you can catch it through the clouds. Near 90 tomorrow, winds out of the south and eventually southwest early next week allowing for the big rise in temperatures. Weekend activity, kind of a mixed bag. Be careful if you're heading out to the uh, coast. The big concern there is going to be a high risk for rip currents, especially along our eastern facing shores. That modeled out more of a moderate risk along part of the Brunswick County coast. Then you get to Ocean Isle Beach and areas uh, to the south and west, and it's a high risk once again. So caution, very, very important. Outside we go. A little bit of pre-dawn light here at 515. Bob King GMC first alert sky cam from the Murkison building. 66 degrees. That's going to feel nice compared to the next several mornings where we'll have those lows in the lower and middle 70s. Check out your temperatures. They're going to peak there in the middle and upper 80s and dip back into the 70s tonight. So certainly short sleeves uh, at this point should be pretty frequent in your wardrobe. And watch as we climb closer to 90. I think some spots well to the north getting to the lower 90s by the afternoon. The aforementioned low pressure system, yeah has some uh, medium chances for development here the next two to seven days and another low following a similar path to Alberto with some medium odds. So we could potentially have Beryl and Chris, yes, but it's going to be a limited uh, window in order for that to happen. I'll point out a first alert tag for your Monday, giving that taxing heat. Now it is summer, so that is pretty normal, Kim, but it's our first decent stretch of heat here for the summer. So got to pay very close attention to that. Back to you.